What's up, YouTube? It's, um, so this is gonna be a collection and unboxing video. I've already opened the box, I just wanna see what they look like in person. Um, but this video is all about the Jordan 5, or at least the ones that I have. Um, but let's get into my newest Jordan 5, um, which is, look in the box. It is the, uh, Paris, PSG, uh, Paris Saint Germain, hmm, whatever. Um, it's Jordan 5, uh, Paris. Uh, it looks like this. Let me get it up close to you. Um, I got this uh, from Nike. Uh, got that cool guy. And I'm not going to be doing Susan today because I'm literally going to go through all of my fives um, in the same video. So there's that. Uh, and this is the back. Now what I like about this a lot is it has a close resemblance to the Blackout 5s. Uh, you get rid of this and the pair is written underneath there and make that black, cover that back part up and it's the black, I mean, it's really the black 3M tongue. I love it, I absolutely love it. I think it's an amazing shoe. Um, is it a $220 shoe? No, uh, it's not, or $200 or whatever the price is. I don't, I'm, I meant like, it's dope, it's a five, I had to get it, but it's just, I'm not like, wow. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this is it. Um, and like I said, it's all right. Uh, it looks like the rest of the fives. Um, you know, it's got a, it's just a Paris on the inside. Um, I mean, it's a clean five, but I mean, you tell me what the major difference is between these two, you know, between the black metallic five, or the metallic five and this one. Um, it's the silver tongue, the blacked out Jumpman, blacked out tongue. Um, the materials are a little better, but not like a ton. It's just not that much different. Um, but I've already bought them, they're already here. It's a done deal. Um, but what I'm more excited about is today I'm gonna share with you my whole collection of fives. I, there are 31 pair, including these. Um, you might as well get to it. Uh, so, but again, uh, shout out the Nike for the plug and the pair of fives. And plug, but you know, I bought them, got them on the site, didn't have any issue. Um, nah, I mean, the quality is dope. Um, I, mean, I think that part's dope. Pair of Saint Germain, five seventy-five for. Let's get into it. As right, so we're gonna start with the OGs first, Fire Red Five such a clean shoe definitely one of the better jordan fives ever uh it's just silver tongue fire Red five og status great five dope now if you wait for the end of the video we're going to talk about the new great five that's coming out with no laces great five the og the black metallic got the nike air on the booty uh yeah one of my favorite shoes period black tongue this one's got some wear some yellowing um, yeah, black tongue, fire red black tongue, 23 on the side. All right, so these two, uh, the next ones, they're a part of the first retroing ever. All right, so these came out in 90, right? And then a little later, um, when they retroed them for the first time, they brought up these next two. White metallic, such a dope shoe. This is the Laney, uh, still super dope shoe, 23 on the side. Shout out to Mike's High School, that's the colors. So next up we have year of 2006. Now the year 2006 had so many dope Jordan 5s. Um, I'm missing one, um, the Laser. Such a clean shoe, such a dope pack. Or the, the, all the 2006 came out with dope ones. Um, if I could find the Laser in um, reasonable shape, I don't want a dead sock because I'm talking about serious crumble. Um, good shape, reasonable price, I would pop it just to complete the 2006. But Let's get into that. All right, all right, all right. So this is the Burgundy 5. Now, this is one of my favorite sneakers, period. The Burgundy 5 is literally one of the 
best Jordan 5s ever. Um, it's not OG, and mine are starting to get some crumble to them, and it's starting to, and it's really hurting my feelings. Uh, but you know, I will never get rid of this shoe. Um, I, I will rip the soles off of another one and have them painted. Shout out to my man RC. Um, yeah, I got a package from him coming soon, and I will make a video on that separate. But Burgundy Fives, bananas. UNC Five. All right, so like the thing that these are, man, is like when when Jordan does the colored stitching that matches the um, the sock liner, it's so dope. Um, and they rarely did it. Um, they did it with the burgundies. They did it with these, uh, and they need to go back to doing that. It kind of that the the different colored stitching gives it um, some contrast uh, that I think is super important. Um, and these shoes make me so sad. They're so short on time. Maybe two, three wears. Um, but I love this shoe. All right, this is the Olive Five. Uh, and it's, it's not undefeated because there's no undefeated uh, demo on it. You know, there's no marking, no, no uh, uh, trademark or anything. Uh, but some people call it the undefeated, but it's just the Olive Five. Olive 2006. Let's keep it rolling. So the last in the class of 2006 is a green bean. Green bean. This is a green bean five. Um, it's all 3M super dope shoe uh, like and that the cream bean comes from the actual sock liner color and the color here on the teeth um, it's green bean green uh, this is back when Jumpman had a booty uh, 2006 so these shoes are 12 years old um, and they look great as they still rock out hard um, that they are getting the shady bubble um, and we do have some of the crumbling it looks like the paint's chipping off uh, these guys are numbered Shout out to my green beans, man. All right, so next up are the 2011 uh, releases. Uh, so the Wolf Gray, uh, 2011. Yeah, yeah. So these are 2011. Um, simple, dope shoe. Again, we have the lighter color stitching that doesn't match the laces. It matches the sock liner. Again, Jordan Brand, please get back to this. Get back to it. Next up, we have my one and only Jordan pack. Raging Bull. So this is the only pack that I have that can't, you know, the pack that comes with two shoes. Um, I don't have, uh, but this is the 3M Raging Bull. Um, I don't wear these very much. Uh, much like the Green Bean, they just have a darker 3M to it, um, but the whole shoe is 3M. Um, you know, it's that weird 3M texture. Uh, the shoe is dope. They made an SB like it. I think that's dope. Uh, but this is one half of the Raging Bull pack. And then the crown jewel of the Raging Bull Pie. The reason everybody got it um, is the Toro. All right, uh, this shoe is beyond dope. Um, they came out with another red suede Jordan. It was our Jordan Five, all red upper, um, none of the, the contrast and black on it. Um, but the yellow ink is dope on it. The shoe is dope. The suede is dope. Long suede, soft. Such a dope shoe. Raging Bull 5. All right, this is the Jordan 5 Fear. Oh. All right, so one of the best Jordan 5s ever, 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 period. It's a black grape. Um, the purple and the teal with the black suede up top. It's a super soft suede, super dope shoe. That girl is poison. This is, so this is poison green. These are actually the um, Pro Stars. Next. This is the pre grape uh, or um, Hornets or whatever. Um, this is probably the five that I have that has the most love on it. I kind of beat this shoe down, um, but I love it. Um, so before there was ever the grape, there was a sample of this shoe, right? That was before the um, that was before the grape. This came out before the grape. So this was the sample, and then they ended up releasing. Um, the great that we all know and love. So last year we got a bunch of fives. In 2017 they just loaded us up and they flooded the market with them. Um, which I'm cool with because I absolutely love the five. It's my second favorite of the silhouettes. Um, definitely dope. But this is the uh, Green Stucco. Um, now there was talk about this being a premium. I'm talking about this being a premium and they're going for $400. It's released for $190. Um, it's got that cool um, Air 23 logo on the back, which I think is dope. It's something different that they put on the shoe. Thank God, because they can't keep releasing the same shoe. Well, they do, and I will buy them, but clearly. Next. 
<laughs> All right, so this is flight suit blue. Uh, shout out to Jordan's uh, flight suit that he wore. He had a, a blue one and a red one that he wore with the Jordan 1. Um, so this is the blue pair. Super dope. All right, uh, flight suit red. Uh, the blue's counterpart. This is the red pair. Um, also a really dope pair, long suede. The suede on it is really good and I think it's just gonna get better with age. Um, I'm, hope, I'm hopeful that Jordan has done something to kind of limit the tear down and the insole. Uh, but you know, the more you wear it, the better off they are. So, all right, so the first of the premiums that released in 2017 was these. Now these were also called flat suit. Shout out to my son who's throwing shoes at me. Um, so this is the Pure Platinum Jordan 5 PRM. All right, so this is the uh, Triple Black, um, our carbon fiber, I think is what they call it. it has, if you look at the, the actual eyelets, they all have carbon fiber on the outlets, on the eyelets. All right, and last but definitely not least in the Jordan 5 Premium Pack, uh, this is the wine, our Bordeaux, our peanut butter and jelly. I don't know. Um, it's this one. Um, so you got uh, jelly outside, peanut butter inside. Inside peanut butter, outside jelly. Seven days out of the week, seven different shipments. Next up, this is the Jordan Cement 5. This shoe is inspired by the white cement. Three and four. Laces are from laces.com. All right, so I bought these shoes right here specifically to go to a barbecue. Um, so this is a barbecue shoe. Um, I don't give a shit about it. I ultimately, uh, what will end up happening to this shoe is it will become a soul donation. Um, so when the burgundies start to uh, deteriorate, I will rip the sole off of this, send it to my man RC, and have him uh, replace the sole and the burgundy with this pair. Um, yeah, gold tongues. They were pointless. They were everywhere. All right, and the um, the latest one besides the PSG that just dropped um, is the International Flight. Uh, these were them. Now the leather on this pair was crazy. Jordan went off with it and I love when they do that. And this is where this would fit in. This is the Paris PSG Jordan 5. Boom, we just talked about at the beginning of the video. Hope you're watching uh, right there. Chinese New Year Jordan 5. It's all in nylon. Um, the box is dope. The heel cap is dope. The touch to details are the details on this shoe. Attention to details on this shoe were crazy. Um, I wish it had been a black leather, black suede rather than the um, nylon, uh, but it is what it is. A ton though, right? Like, come on. All right, and so my top three Jordan 5s that I own, the Jordan 5 Supreme Camo. Now this is the chocolate chip desert camo. This was worn during um, the first desert storm. Um, and so I wore uh, desert camo, but not the ones with the chocolate chips on it. Um, and if you're curious about what the chocolate chips are, they are the little dots that are on there that literally look like where the chocolate chips should be. Um, but this is a Supreme collab, right there. See the guy, it's got the sup on the inside of the webbing. Dope shoe. Um, really one of my, uh, I, I just absolutely love the shoe, the call to um, armed forces, but I know that's not the point of it, but you know, you got Supreme branding literally all over the shoe, on the outsole, on the, in, on the inside the tongue, on the lace lock, like it's everywhere. It's, it's, it's Supreme, you know, it is what it is. And then this is the DB5 and the story behind this shoe is beautiful and I do not want to rob you of the experience. If you don't know the story, please, 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 please go check it out. Um, I'm going to put a picture in right here. That's what it looks like during with the black light on. The All the, the plastic, white plastic parts, they glow. Um, the shoe was bananas. Um, and the, the words on here from a poem, again, if you don't know the story, please take a few seconds. I will link to it in the description down below. Go check it out. Learn about this story and this kid's parents um, and the trials they went through. Uh, but this is the Jordan 5 DB. Drum roll! Ah. All right, so 
my favorite Jordan 5 that I own has got to be the Bel Air 5. Now, uh, I love this shoe before I got it, um, and then when I got it, I got it from a really close friend of mine. Um, her IG is in the description down below, you can check her out. Um, but she wears the same size shoe as me, and she had an extra pair, and she wanted to bless me, and then gave me for these, gave me these for retail. And actually, I ended up trading her the Masters for this pair, um, and you know, that is bananas. Um, she missed out on the Masters and really wanted the pair of 12s. I had the, I had two pair, and so I gave her, you know, we did it, we traded. Um, but this is what really set me off on my, like, if I could get this shoe, which was a grail for me, I could get all, any shoe I wanted. Um, so this one has um, hits of pink and a pink Jumpman on the tongue and on the heel cap. Um, this one has hits of green with a green Jumpman and a green Jumpman on the heel cap. Uh, this is a shot to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Um, and it's so 90s, it's painful. I love the sock liner, the shoe, it's colorful, it's bright, it's just like what you'd expect from something from the 90s in the Fresh Prince. Super dope. Bel Airs are my favorite fives ever. Now, since we're talking about the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, talking about these Bel Air fives, let's talk about the laceless great fives that are getting ready to come out. They come out September 25th. Um, I'm stoked about it. They are, it is the great. Um, now, if you've ever watched the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you knew that he wore fives all the time and never put laces in them. So this pair that they're releasing does not have lace holes at all. Uh, the leather looks dope. It's got a, a Fresh Prince of Bel Air insole that has that like logo um, from um, the Fresh Prince, that same kind of colorway, that yellow and that bright pink. Um, and it's got Nike Air on the butt. Uh, so those are a must cop for me. I will get that shoe, but also Will uh, Smith is doing a giveaway or did a giveaway. Um, they made 23 pairs of this shoe with a gold satin upper, um, which is way too much for me. Um, I would not do that, but I really, really want the laceless pair. What do you think about the laceless pair? What do you think about the Jordan 5? Let me know in the description down below. I hope you like my shoes. I hope you like videos like this because I'm going to do most of my collection um, this way. So like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think down below. I love to hear your comments. I try to respond as much as possible. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. Holla.